one thing I want to speak about AOC. Um, recently, she just was busted for staging fake uh, gosh darn pictures at a border detention center. Um, and Candace Owens restaged the pics in a similar fashion, which was absolutely hilarious. I want to go ahead here and show the crowd. And um, what do you think about this here, Barry, while I show the crowd? I, that I love this. This, you know, this is so great, Jermaine. You can't write a script funnier. Except this isn't for fun. This was real. Ocasio Cortez put out pictures of her visit to the border, looking through the fence at the poor people on the other side of the fence and bawling her eyes out. It was moving. It was emotional. It grabbed at your heartstrings. You start believing what you're looking at, and you want to cry out, change it. I want to support AOC. This is horrible. Except for one problem, Jermaine. It was a complete fake. Mm -hmm. When you pan back from that same picture, where she's looking through the fence and the tears are running down her face, Jermaine, there's nobody on the other side of the fence. It's a fake picture. And they put it out, and nobody investigated it. So, God bless Candace Owens, who I'm a supporter of. She went to the border, she restaged the picture, and when you pan left, there's nobody on the other side of the fence. They just made it up. But you know what? The vast majority of the people that saw the Alexandra Ocasio-Cortez picture never realized that it was fake. Why? Because the mass media didn't report it. Mainstream should have made that the lead story. Congresswoman goes to border, creates fake picture for sympathy for her policies. It turns out to be a fraud. Should have been front page in the New York Times, the Washington Post, the Huffington Post, NBC, ABC, CBS, MSNBC, ESPN, uh, CNN, everywhere where they slam on the policies of Republicans and they literally kiss the tushy of AOC, this would have been a perfect opportunity to set the record straight and tell the truth. And Jermaine, most people don't know about the story you just told. They really, really don't, but they ought to look at it. They they need to look at it. And AOC, there there's um she's pulling a trick and she's what I the things that I say about her it's that fake compassion and the younger generation can't distinguish this from uh you know real real reality so that's what i think about what what do you think about what i just said there all right i agree with you 100 percent, and i'll and i'll add to it you know when i was first learning about how spreadsheets are built and um data is analyzed. There used to be a saying, I haven't heard it recently, but it's basically garbage in, garbage out. And what that means is, if you feed in bad data, by definition, you're going to reach bad conclusions because the only data you have to analyze is wrong. It's false. So if people are compassionate based on a lie, like a massacre took place in Israel. Thousands were killed. That was a Bernie Sanders statement. They're being slaughtered by the IDF. Well, that was made up completely. There are no facts to support it. It's a complete lie. Well, who wouldn't be sad for people being shot down by going about their business? Well, they made it up. When AOC goes to the fence and balls her eyes out and it becomes front page news on every major news outlet in America, because she's so upset about the brutal treatment of the poor Mexicans and Guatemalans and South Salvadorians and so on that have illegally entered the United States and being treated as criminals and concentration camp victims and you see her bawling, well, it kind of grabs your heart. It's a horrible thing mm -hmm. until you pan left and realize it's garbage. It's made up. So <laughs> the compassionate people you're talking about are a perfect example today of garbage in and garbage out. You tell somebody a lie and you bawl your eyes out and what are they going to do? Well, they're going to be sad and, and compassionate and supportive of your position because you're seeing a picture that you believe is true. 
even though it's false, even though it's a lie. That's the problem. That is why American Truth Project is here. That is why Conservative Nation is here. It's important through alternative forms of news that the truth is channeled to people so they can make an informed decision. I urge people to look at that picture that Candace put up and look at the picture that AOC put up and you'll go, oh my God, <laughs> America was lied to, which ought to encourage the voters in her district to vote for somebody else. Next time.